Hi again. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two. As Art and I review some of the great old films and TV shows mm. on the Vintage Film Channel uh, that Gracie has preserved and uh, makes available free on VintageFilm.com uh, and YouTube slash Vintage Film Channel. Yeah, so anyway, today we have uh, another one of those real gems. Uh, I have absolutely no remembrance of ever seeing them, heard the names of any of the people in it, so on and so forth. It uh, uh, appeared uh, for three years, 19 uh, commercial TV, 1949 to 1952, 130 some more episodes, <coughs> which is not unusual for, for the day, you know, doing uh, 30 or 40 a year. Uh, but it was absolutely a forerunner of all the sitcoms like Father Knows Best and Leave It yeah. to Beaver and all the rest of them. So this is, and the people were were interesting people for the time. I just never heard of them. So it's again, one of those things that uh, uh, Grace has found, has restored, has put up. And I actually enjoyed watching the whole thing because I knew that this had set the stage for what was to come. Uh, yeah. what, what did you know about it, John? Well, Art, tell me you knew who Charlie Ruggles was, I, I, don't you? I, did you? No, no. Really? I did not. So I remember Charlie Ruggles as a character actor in movies and television. I didn't know that he had his own show, obviously one of the first early sitcoms, but he was a star. He, had, he, had, he was in, um, uh, what's the famous film, Bringing Up Baby? Yeah. Um, he was, uh, he always played like a, 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 a very well-dressed, a very mild mannered, uh, mid, I call him a Midwesterner, but he always had a, a, his, his little, um, acting gimmick was, well, well, uh, well, I don't know. Well, uh, yeah, he kind of, he kind of hemmed it never, hard. Never heard of him. And I, he was famous to me. Oh, Charlie Ruggles. Sure. But I didn't know he ever had a sitcom. And I would say this is not a sitcom in the traditional, at least the way sitcoms developed with the com, with the comedy. Mm. This is more of a family drama. And it, and mm. you're absolutely right. This is just like Father Knows Best, you know, whatever the laughs were in Father Knows Best, they weren't hemming and hawing like the Beverly Hillbillies. It was more... <laughs> of a right. situation drama. Yeah, right? I, I agree. Yeah, sure. And, and so this one's about the son, Junior, right? And uh, who's trying to figure out what he wants to do with his life and his younger uh, siblings um, and Charlie Ruggles and his wife. And it's a very nice, sweet little half hour drama. Mm -hmm. um, and I recommend everybody watch it for not only for the teleplay itself, but as you point out, it really does... Uh, set the stage for things like Father's Knows Best, which was what went on for 10 years or yeah, more. Yeah, as, as a matter of fact, just as a, a side note, uh, the young man there who's, it, it's his problem that gets it really addressed here. Yeah. He's like Bud of Father Knows Best. And then there was the older daughter, and she's yeah. going to get involved later on. And then yeah. uh, uh, they have some younger kids around the house as well. So it's just, it's it's absolutely a forerunner of those kind of shows. And yeah. uh, quite frankly, it was just, I, I don't know that I would binge watch if I could find a hundred, another hundred <laughs> versions of it. But it's certainly, if you're interested in uh, uh, the progression of uh, uh, TV shows and, uh, and old films that you've never seen, uh, Vintage Film Channel is definitely a place that you want to visit. Yeah. So I've noticed the production values on this. Hmm. This, I believe, looking at it, was was live television, and it was recorded on a yeah. kinescope. In a kinescope, yeah, and, sure. And I can tell that because of the camera work. Live television, you don't have cameras, and you're not editing crazy scenes, fast cuts and stuff like that. This was live television, three cameras, maybe only two. And Gracie must have found the kinescope and restored it beautifully. Yeah. It looks terrific. Um, so I don't know how many more of these shows exist, but I'll bet you they're all very similar. I wanted to point out that Charlie Ruggles, because he had been in, he started in silent movies. That's how old he was. Um, he's got three stars on the walk of fame, one really? for film, 
Yep, one for film, one for radio. He must have had a Charlie Ruggles radio show, and one for TV. Um, hmm. And of course, early television. Where did they get their stars from? Radio. Yeah, right? but Charlie Ruggles was also a movie star. He did actually play the lead character in a bunch of movies in the 30s. Um, but more than that, he played his typical mild-mannered Midwesterner uh, in a bunch of movies. He he appeared with, let me see if I can read my notes, Cary Grant and Kate, Kate Hepburn. Mm -hmm. He appeared with, in the 1961 uh, movie The Parent Trap, I think that was the Haley Mills parent trap. So, so well, you mean more as a so he was a character actor. He was like this. He was a he was often a character actor. Yeah, yeah. and he play, he'd play the father, grandfather, and uncle. He looks like a judge, doesn't he? That kind of mm. character. Um, he also, after the Ruggles show went off the air, he had a long career uh, into the sixties and seventies. Here are some of the shows he appeared on as a guest star: um, Bewitched. Man from Uncle, um, Danny Thomas show. Sure, I could see him on Perry Mason. I mean, I really? don't know. I don't know that it yeah. ever was, but it, sure, I could see him playing a role on on uh, Perry Mason. Uh, in modern days, it would be on uh, on uh, Law and Order. He'd be, you know, uh, yeah. a killer yeah. oh, or yeah. something, or <laughs> the crazy. Uncle. Anyway, he. Uh... He, for me, I'm surprised you never saw him or recognized him. No. For me, he was a famous face and a famous character actor. I just didn't know he had his own show. It's a fun show to watch, by the way. So anyway, just a reminder that uh, go to Vintage Film Channel. There are all these little gems that you get. Yes. And um, uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed watching this one. Again, as it, it was sort of like this forerunner for the shows that I grew up with, which we had mentioned before on, on TV, the, the family dramas, as you rightfully yeah. call them. And uh, it was just, it was fun to see and to, uh, and to see the where some of the roots of the situations that uh, we saw week after week after week of these other uh, uh, TV programs. So anyway, recommend you go to uh, your YouTube and look up uh, Vintage Film Channel uh, and uh, let's keep encouraging Grace by uh, liking it. If you don't like it, say it sucks and hit the dislike uh, and write a comment. Uh, but subscribe to her channel because uh, that keeps her going. And while you're at it, because we're really, really nice guys, uh, you're watching this on uh, Celebrating Act 2. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe or to tell 10,000 of your closest friends to please come to our YouTube channel, Celebrating Act Two, and subscribe. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.